Yashiro Commissioner, I'm sure you've heard the news. The Tinryu Commission has now occupied Rito, refusing to leave until we hand Lady Hiragi over to them. I realize I have greatly offended you with my atrocious actions, and I realize also that this must sound like the very height of absurdity. But please, have mercy, good sir. I'm sorry, Mr. Matsura. I'm exceptionally busy and have but a moment to spare before my next engagement. I fear this leaves no time for small talk. So, please, if you would be so kind, get straight to the point. <sighs> I know our apology means nothing to you, but we really have nothing else left to offer by this point. I'm terribly sorry. Everyone in the entire Conjo Commission now realizes the gravity of this situation. Lady Haragi is indispensable to us. We promise to always support her. So, would it be at all possible for you to talk to Sir Kujo once more? On our behalf? You make it sound so easy. The Tri-Commission will be ridiculed by the public if we choose to withdraw the notices now and eat our words. What do you plan to do about this? To lose face for the Tri-Commission is to bring shame to Her Excellency. Are you and your associates ready to face the thunderous wrath of the Almighty Shogun? We... We'll take full responsibility. We'll publish a new notice and hold a conference to explain the situation. We will make sure that the public knows this was all a huge misunderstanding. We'll do everything we can to minimize the impact. Everything we can. Hmm. <laughs> ah, Master Matsura. You should have known it would come to this. Whatever were you thinking? But the Tri-Commission must always put the interests of Inazuma first, regardless of what Sir Kujo and I may feel at this present moment. If the situation in Rito is left to fester any further, things may get out of control. But Lady Hiragi and the inhabitants of Rito are innocent. If we fail to contain the situation promptly, the rumor mill will wreak havoc on the Tri-Commission's reputation. Try keeping a pet bird. You'll see what I mean. Songbirds who know how to hold a tune can be very pleasant to listen to, but they can also become irritating if they don't know when to stop. And as for the ones with excessively long tongues, well, they're so insufferable that they can't be kept as pets at all but it doesn't take a moment to cut out their tongues and silence them for good. Y yes I understand. I've listened to your concerns, and I'll talk to Sir Cujo for you. But I can't guarantee that he will change his mind. I understand. Thank you for your help, Yashiro Commissioner. All right, you ought to return now. I'm sure you have a sizable mess to deal with back in the Kanjo Commission. Okay, then please excuse me. Thank you once again, Commissioner. <laughs> <laughs>